was a time in the era of great chaos when the earth and the moon were at war with each other. A daredevil from the moon piloted a bizarre aircraft. It was feared, and because of its shape, called Iron This caps off gaming, and I'm coming with another installment with Memory Lane. Trying to get this game to work for a very long time, and I finally have it working and recording. And the game that I'm talking about is, yeah, Iron Honda, <laughs> right? PS1 classic. I have a little story that goes along with it um, before we get into the gameplay and everything. Um, you know, in UMass Amherst, in my alma mater, there was a guy, his name was Aaron. Hey, Aaron! Where are you? Come on, systems, no problem, because the early infancy of the internet, so a lot of the consoles that you had, you know, they weren't online or anything, so they can't really check if you had, like, you know, like, copy and whatnot. He modded my PlayStation 1. Hey, and we would just I would just get games like weekly, you know, like they were like five bucks, and like you know how it is, like college. Well, at least back in the day, back in like the late nineties, um, twenty dollars or thirty dollars was like your budget for like the week and everything. So I could always count on copying at least two or three games, and still keeping myself fed and everything. But Iron Honda, dope game. It's a 2D shooter, or more like a 2.5 shooter because, you know, perspective will change as you're going through the game. It is a really dope game. Last time I seen this was on the PSN network. They were allowing downloads for that, but that's been gone up to this point. But now, I've had the physical copy for a while. I'm really excited to show you some of the options and the features and just do a run <laughs> do a run and you know catch those on the south clock but you man this capsule came in please like so comment and share let's get into it word up yeah that classic sound <laughs> it's so great <laughs> it's so great all right man about to hop into it yep squaresoft made this all right, you know, Final Fantasy, all that. All right, so I'm gonna enter there the was later. a time in the era of know. great chaos when the Earth and the Moon were at war with each other. Yeah, on uh, Earth and Mars, <laughs> the way things are shaping up. A daredevil from the moon piloted a bizarre aircraft. Mm -hmm. It was feared, and because of its shape, called. So Einhanda, I think, means like angel of death or something like that. Um, I will add anything up to the house. So you can just keep it in front of me and I like this. Right? It is wild. It's like police. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that movie, um, Elysium with Matt Damon, where like the, the, the space platform, Elysium. For, like the elite, and everyone had like, like you know, suffer down on earth. You know? 
but yeah, this is Ein Honda. And we're about to start this up, yo. Alright, so we have two different ships. There's other ships you can unlock as you play through the game. I'm gonna go with the basic one, this one. I'm doing this one where you have the machine gun and one gun pod. Uh, I think this is the, the easier version because you don't have to um, really like allocate, manage like two weapons at the same time. So, you do that. And literally just drop, it's gonna drop you right into it. <laughs> I'm from the moon. I'm not supposed to be here. I am not. Okay, so I hit the circle button, I switch, I switch up the orientation. Spread shot, always good. The thing is that it points back to the I'm playing this like a normal TV shooter. Cannon. Cannon is dope because it's like a one shot. And then the wasp is dope too. But guess what? Look, we switch up the wasp. Get heat seeking rockets. Burn them. Flying from Neo Tokyo. <laughs> Another one? The riot is, I think, is like an electric uh, weapon. Oh, lost. About the rocket launch right now. Heat seekers. That up. There we go. Oh, and there's the bullet hell type of stuff, yo. Yo, pay attention, B. I think you get a bunch of continues. That's why you don't have a lot of life. Yeah. I'm trying to pay, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention right now. I'm trying to pay attention right now. It's the same time. Alright, no, you don't want to spread it. Yeah, this is another boss right now. And then if it hits your gun part, you lose the ammo. I lose it. Okay, holding it down. Holding it down. Okay, Alright. Okay, got it. I think I, I think I got a gun, did I? Okay, now, now I'm jumping. That's why you pick this one if you just started playing. Oh, he's winding up for a shot. Okay. That's it? I think that's it. Is that the level? I don't know. Whoa. All right, cool, cool, good, good, good. good. Yeah, 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 I need that. I need that. I oh, no, 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 no. Get the Vulcan. Damn. I don't think I have to go against that other guy. I don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna at least try to push at least a level a level two boss. Alright, here we go. Switch up. Got the procedures on. Yo, see? 2.5. 2.5 oh, D. Gosh, I don't know how hard this game was. And the input's kind of weird because I'm playing on flash screen and I'm just playing on, on, on the, you know, the big back card. Big back television. Okay. What we got now? Okay, so this is a level boss coming up. This is a level boss coming up. Oh, it's the de Yeah, I remember this. It's like the weird turtle thing. <laughs> turtle. Ah, ah. 
um, YouTube and everything like that. But like, come on, man, I'm piloting. You there gotta was a get time it. <laughs> in the era yeah. of great chaos, Word up. <laughs> the talk to you and as the intro rolls back in, yo. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>